While the threat of rising storm water is still looming, there's also the threat of 500,000 Louisiana residents losing their flood insurance. News 10's Neil Zarang shares how the state's senators are trying to make sure that doesn't happen. Neil. That's right, Dalfred. In just 15 days on September 30th, the National Flood Insurance Program is set to expire. Senators Cassidy and Kennedy are co sponsoring a bill to push that deadline to next year. Louisiana is the most dependent on the National Flood Insurance Program of any state in America. Louisiana has collected $19 billion from the National Flood Insurance Program, billions more than any other state since its creation in 1968. It grew out of a hurricane uh, named Betsy. After that event, the private insurers um, decided to exclude coverage for flood from their property insurance policies going forward. Louisiana Insurance Commissioner Jim Donlin admits hundreds of thousands of homeowners could not live in parts of the state without it. That's why extending NFIP is one of the top priorities for Senators Cassidy. We can't allow the program to die. And Kennedy. We're not going to let it expire. Uh, we're just not. I mean, I, I refuse. The senators say the National Flood Insurance Program has four goals. Affordable premiums, accessibility to flood-prone areas, accountability to the taxpayer, and sustainability. Their bill is bipartisan support from coastal Democrat Bob Menendez of New Jersey, but landlocked congressmen need convincing. There's those who would frankly want to kill the program. Um, as if the private market is going to step in and provide that which NFIB does. That's not going to happen. With days left for it to pass. And a looming downpour in the state, senators are steering the ship to higher ground. We're going to do everything we possibly can to get this extension passed, and I just don't want people worried about it. Senator Kennedy says he is working to fast track this bill by skipping committee, and he's already spoken with the White House about signing the bill. Niels Rang, KLY News 10.